guys, it's Mandy and welcome to my channel. I've really been debating all day about whether or not I want to film today. To be completely honest, I have not been feeling well at all this week and I'm extremely unmotivated to do anything and I don't feel like doing anything and I have barely left the house because I've been extremely low energy. The chronic fatigue has been real this week. I think I've been pushing it a little bit too much recently so I'm just feeling it. But it's lunchtime now, actually it's like almost two o'clock. I had a late start to today, you could say. I didn't get out of bed until around 10.30, guys. I'm telling you, I am exhausted. But I am gonna make a yummy salad. I have some salmon that I cooked up yesterday, so I'm gonna make a good salmon salad. And because my salads I eat are so massive, I use this big mixing bowl. I've got a whole bunch of organic spring mix, some leftover wild sake, um, salmon, then some almond slivers, my homemade dressing, and avocado. What's up? I'm that kind of so it is shout out day. If this is your first time experiencing Thrill of Hope, shout out to the follow us on Facebook. Watching the Thrill of Hope show. Sometimes people ask me how I manage to eat such a healthy and clean diet. Dark chocolate is the answer to that. <laughs> But really that is a great diet trick is to find things that you can treat yourself with that really isn't damaging your body. That is a wise way to treat yourself. And really once you remove a lot of processed sugar from your diet, even just eating like a banana and almond butter for me tastes so sugary or like a, a smoothie is like a shake. I mean this dark chocolate is 70% dark, totally satisfies all of my sugar cravings. Uh -huh. Love. Where are you? I'm hiding. Stop that. Come find me. No. Yes. I refuse to play your game. Mm. Stop that. <laughs> I'm so proud of how good I am at doing this in front of you like when you're sitting over there. James is home. I'm hungry, so I'm gonna make our new Hungry! We're gonna make our new burrito recipe inspired by James's favorite YouTuber. So this is a very manly recipe, but I'll adapt it and make it burrito bowl. Manly! <laughs> but we had it the other day and it was really good and it lasts us a while. Yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a recipe because why not? Okay, I've got a pound of grass-fed beef and a pound of lean ground turkey and I'm gonna cook both of those up. And to my left, we're cooking some hash browns up. I don't know if I'm gonna eat any of those, but James certainly will. And then I've got some white rice cooking in our fancy rice cooker. I literally don't know what I would do without this or rice would be ruined every time. Other than salt and pepper, here are the seasonings I'm using for my meat. We're just about out of spinach, so I decided to add some of this fire roasted bell peppers and onions to our burritos. Okay, here's what we got. Two pounds of meat. So this will leave us with lots of leftovers. I have James's tortilla cooked so it's nice and crispy. And here I've got hash browns and those veggies. The rice has three minutes left. And for toppings, we've got salsa, guacar avocado, and sour cream. Yum. Um, wow, precision. It's all in the flick of the wrist. I'm not judging. <laughs> YouTube's judging him. Okay, well this is mine so far. It looks pretty ugly, but it looks also tasty. Yeah, I did put rice in it, people. Yeah, I do eat carbs. I eat lots of vegetables, those are carbs. So is this a burrito or a quesadilla? Are we gonna try to fold burrito. that? Well, show me, show me your... Great. <laughs> Can we take just a minute and acknowledge how quickly he finishes food? Games. I guess so. I'm getting some yummy food ideas from this beautiful cookbook from 
Leah McGuire. She's one of my subscribers and someone that goes to our church. She sent me this. I'm looking for some things to make. That looks really good. Yum, zoodles. Babe, do you know what's on the menu? What? Me and you. <laughs> me and you. Me and me and you. We're a bit hungry. So I had some of these. They're really yummy, a little sugary, but delicious. Sugary and delicious. He's making Kodiak cakes, which if you're not gluten-free, they're the greatest thing since sliced bread. And I'm making a little smoothie. I've got half of a scoop of bone broth, teaspoon or soap cacao powder, one small banana, some spinach, wow, maca powder, so and oh, babe. Stop. <laughs> Close it. Let's watch. Close and flip. Oh! <laughs> Every time, babe. Every time. Oh, my lands! It was an accident. It's okay. Forgive me! Clean it. Whoa. It's kind of cool looking, though. <laughs> my smoothie is super yummy. His waffles smell incredible. I wish I was eating that. Probably couldn't. My stomach would not be able to handle it or my body. Too many gains. Too many gains and too many glutens. <laughs> Anyways, I want to close out the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Give me any feedback that you have in the comments. Let me know what you'd like to see next. And if you haven't subscribed and you want to, you can do that. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Felicia's. Bye. <laughs>